What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, it's a lot of things that happen on the internet that is like blasphemy. But who knew that Charleston White and Tia Kemp was going to get into it? Baby, they are into it. Quite frankly, would I like to see black people into it despite what y'all say? No. But am I not going to talk about it despite what y'all say? No, I'm going to talk about it. Just because y'all don't want me to talk about it, I'm going to talk about it. Okay? So, Tia and Charleston been into it. We about to get into it. Let's get it. This is what started it. Say good morning, everybody. Uh, I just want to say this. Uh, any black woman that got a baby by a black man that will get online every day and go after your kid's father, you have to remember the things that you say about your children's father or your children's mother. You picked them. You laid down with that person. So as you talk about your children's mother and your father, you're actually talking about your children because they have the same chromosomes. Auntie T. Say good morning. Here. Auntie T. Is what he almost let not hit the end of that. Now, I don't know why he was calling her out, but was trying to not call her out at the same time. I'm not necessarily, necessarily understanding. But like this comment say right here, this unk versus um, auntie, I am here for it. Okay. And he actually put her name in the title. He says, Tia Kemp is a horrible black mother. Her public words towards her son's father affect the child. This is one of the main reasons I chose not to have a child with a black woman. Uh, she's emasculating her male son by publicly shaming the father of her son. She's a disgrace as a black mother. That's so damn disrespectful. <laughs> Not only that, though, have y'all ever wondered why the black mom is always criticized? Now, don't get me wrong. It's some trifling baby mamas out here, and that's all race. We can't just put that on the black women. That's all races. White women in jail for murder, black women in jail for murder, Mexican women in jail for murder. This is not a, like, just black women thing. I truly feel like some black men just can't handle black women. Now, if you a guy who, I was talking about this the other day, if you a guy who can't handle toxicity or like, God, I forgot what I said. <laughs> Trey took it. But basically, when you have a person that is aggressive and you're aggressive, it ain't going to work. You, a person that's aggressive can't take too much aggression. And I don't think, a, I, I, I feel like a lot of people in our community don't understand that. It's a man out here right now that will handle you talking your shit to him. Shut up. You stupid. Come love on me type shit. Me, I flip out. I don't like to be told to shut up. I, I hate that. It grinds my gears whether you say it in a rude way or a nice way i don't like it calling me out my name hitting me there's some women right here right now that'll slap the hell out of her her man neck just walk right by him and slap the hell out of his neck i can't do it i'm a gentle person i like gentle things and if you're not gentle with me you're gonna get the other side you know so I feel like we should be with the people that can treat us the way we want to be treated. Some people want to be slapped around. Cool. You need to find somebody who can deal with the slapping. Some people like to be rubbed. Rub me. I need to be rubbed. I, I can't get slapped. So take me to another place. So I just feel like a lot of black men can't handle that from, from black women. Don't get me wrong, but black women ain't just out here slapping people. I'm just saying. Um, I feel like that's the problem in our our culture. Everybody, uh, I just want to say this. Uh, any black... Oh, he was done. All right, so we're going to go to the next thing that he said. First of all, he got to putting pictures out about her son. <laughs> Let me show you. He said... <laughs> he said these Tia Kemp teeth, y'all. 
I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that shit was funny as hell. <laughs> it was funny as hell because them toofers is big. These some big toofers. Okay. Oh my God, them some big toofers. Um, <laughs> hold on. Somebody said they want to cheat, disrespect, beat women, then expect us to sit there and shut the f up. Like, miss me with that. So I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about it if you are getting beat on and all of that. I'm saying this. Sometimes you'll find a man who's gentle, who just he ain't got time for all that. He not gonna hit you back, things like that. And some women take advantage of that and be beating the hell out the nigga. This is a true story, y'all. Come on now. But you should know that I'm not talking about if somebody beating on you. Girl, that's what the Glock for, period. Uh, y'all know I'm an advocate of that. Oh, you were speaking in general. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, my thing is if you can't handle a black woman, it's because you can't bring out the softness in that woman. I wish my cousin was on here. What do you mean bring out the softness? My thing is if you can't handle a black woman, it's because you can't bring out the softness in that woman because a lot of black men don't create a safe space for women to be soft and chill the F out. Friend, first of all, camera, what are you doing? Um, I'm about to see if my cousin is available to talk because I need a man because I disagree with you. I disagree with you. Why does the softness have to be pulled out of you? You're a woman. Why aren't you naturally soft? Like if you're in survival mode, cool. But why aren't you naturally just soft already? But you just said you were already in survival mode when you went into the situation, right? Right, but normally you go into a situation you're looking for someone that you don't have to be surviving. Mm. You do it together. You're not solely surviving by yourself. So if I'm alone in this motherfucker, I can do bad by myself. If you feel protected, how can you let your guard down? God with it. We about to get on TikTok when we get off here. Because I want to talk about this. Not, I get what you're saying, honey's house. I know you're speaking in general, friend. That's okay. I'm just responding in general. It ain't, you know, I'm just responding. Um, because you're not the only one that feels this way. And every time it comes up, I be like, <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Because I'm an advocate on if a woman isn't in survival mode, she will show her ass. But I was talking about putting hands on a nigga and it went somewhere else. Maybe because when you, when you put out the general statement and went somewhere else, we're going to talk about it in a minute though. Cause I want to talk about that. I want to hear my, my, my cousin's opinion, but these, these was the two fists. Um, hold on. This is the next video no, he put out. Bit of arguing and go back and forth with no bitch with poison and tar the TT. Man, that hoe got them. Come on, hoe. Take them, take them, take them veneers out your mouth and do that tongue like you do. Let's shut up. You look like a. You a snake. That's why your tongue whistles like a lizard. <laughs> I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. I done said what I done said. When granddaddy say something, he don't argue with Mabel. Shut up, hoes, and you can go over there and talk to your mother. His mama didn't shape his head as a baby is hilarious. But I ain't getting no response to no hoe that's been well taken care of by a rich nigga. You just mad and angry and disgruntled. And like I told you, producer, I'm not sitting down with no disgruntled and them two rotten ass hoes that's yeah, you, yeah. Not damn. Oh, shit. Hello? Okay. We'll be here. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, 
I'm out here working out. I ain't got time to argue with you, bitch. Your child support payments to stop. Uh, yeah, yeah. And your little boy about to go to college. He ain't gonna be able to focus straight because they gonna be teasing him. And I hope he ain't fat like Ricky. <laughs> I'm not fit to argue. Yeah. This man just say everything, anything. But I will say some of his comebacks be hilarious. Hey, this uh, is the next one. They got my account restricted where I can't go live. Uh, I ain't got that block. Uh, I'm tagging that bitch, so I ain't got a block. They still report my shit. So yeah, they, don't, they ain't playing for a home. I ain't reporting nothing, my nigga, because I want to go at the bitch. They tried to pay me. And let me just say this. They, pay, they paid me to come be on Zeus Network. Hold on. I think, to be honest, a lot of women bring past trauma into every relationship after they go into new relationships they go into it with their guard up and expect the dude to disrespect them or treat them crazy and a small group of women go into every relationship giving the man a clean slate and most women will treat a man the way the man treats them so if a man is aggressive or cheating and disrespecting or disrespect they'll get the nagging aggressive response from women Okay, we're going to talk about it in a minute because I, I have something to say. With that, in that I do want to talk about this. He got offered by Zeus. Oh, apparently he says Zeus already paid him for this to talk to them. Do y'all think in the comments that he was scared to talk to the aunties? Because I do. At Tokyo, China, whoever them I said, man, I'm not sitting down with them funky yeah, yeah, old yeah, ass. Them has it's been, strong. man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But say, let me tell you something. You just mad them chicks stop. And you need to thank Rick Rock. That nigga was scared to go talk to the aunties because you knew they was going to gang up on your ass. He knew. He was scared oh, as hell. Cause remember. Because he knew he wasn't going to win. He wasn't going to win. You helped show them get his hygiene together. You remember what you told us? You helped get his hygiene together. So before you put them veneers. They was going to eat his ass alive. Facts. In your mouth. You mean to tell me you was sucking a fat, nasty nigga. Come on, God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, this what you said. You said you showed him how to get his hygiene together. You were f***ing a fat, sloppy nigga that didn't have a hygiene. You a funky b Let me show you what I posted this morning for. I did say, listen, this is what I posted this morning about a bitch like you. <laughs> say, this is what I posted this morning about a bitch like you on Facebook. Where that motherfucker? Yeah, it does have layers. That's why I want to talk about it, Stone. Yeah. This is what I posted about a bitch like you. Say, look, tell what I said. Once I see you be letting fat niggas, I'm cool on you. So here it is. You didn't help Rose get his hygiene together, but you were fing him while you were helping get him together. You know how fat niggas is, too. <laughs> and now here it is. You done had a fat baby by this by, by the boss. You got now you got a fat baby by the boss. But listen, the boy in football. Get him a breast reduction. You got your teeth fixed, didn't you? Get him one of them band man, keep it surgery so he can shrink them titties. Man, that nigga ain't gonna be able to tackle nobody. <laughs> hey, uh. That nigga be able to tackle somebody because them titties so big. Okay, um. This nigga was on her ass with them two fists. He was on her ass with them two fists. Oh, my God. He was on her ass with them two fists, y'all. Oh, child. Okay, what's the next one? Say good morning, everybody. Uh -huh. uh, I just want to say this. Uh -huh. uh, any black woman uh -huh. that got he a baby by a black it. man that it get online oh every day. He reposted it. Oh my God, them two of it. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God. <laughs> he was so on point with the two of us. You can't even be mad at the nigga, bro. He was so on point with the two of us. <laughs> Yo, oh my God. Okay, who child? All right, what do you say? Say, you gonna pay me ten thousand? Now, y'all look how stupid. Look how bitter this is. All oh, this was today, by the way. 
Uh, except the green shirt ones. She really in her feelings. Rollo trying to put me and Tramp in a movie together, and she turning down millions. This why the black woman can't win. Her emotions is detrimental to her life. Now, come on. Get out your feelings. I'm playing for the money. You playing for your feelings. Now, Zeus Network was willing to pay me 10, what, what was it, $12,000? I think they paid they sent me five or six thousand up front. Well, Zeus Network and Tia Neal wanted me on it because they want they want to suck my dick. So they were willing to pay me ten thousand dollars to come sit on their YouTube or podcast channel that may make twenty thousand dollars that she got to split with Zeus and them other two. Bitch, you mean to tell me you will turn down six figures? Cause you you and your feelings. Listen, I ain't in my feelings. I've made, listen, this shit is fun. I'm having fun. Let's get the money out. Huh? That's why I see why Rick quit with you, dumbass. Y'all don't think about this. This bitch in the network was going to pay me to come be on their podcast where they may make maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. And bitch, you go. The fact that he thought they was going to make twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 in general is hilarious. Turn down. A public debate that they go put in more than one city, and me and you are damn near make a million a piece. You got to be a dumb <laughs> bit of get out your feelings and get in the bag. Oh, I done set the stage for little with for you to be able to give William Jr. 10 cents a car like William Sr. gave the boy. Now, I see William Sr. got an inheritance for big titty, but man, don't do titty boy like that. You give him something, because you're not sending him to college. Yo, this nigga terrible, bro. He not going to college on your money. And that boy go out to stay at the dorms. And the boy go, you know, the boy go need things. And as a mama, the little money you getting over there with Zeus ain't getting you. Cause me and you together, separately, just arguing on stage. They talking about millions. And you go turn it down, because I hurt your feelings. He turned 12K down because he didn't want all three of them to hurt his family. Oh, you got that veneer contract with. They did this. <laughs> Say, bitch, you gonna pay me 10000 Now, y'all look. Teddy boy is crazy. I don't give a f about that apology, man. That apology. I'm saying, listen, when I was a little bitty boy, and mama and them, we in the house fighting. Who gave an apology? His cousins or my friends over. And mama and them coming and say, y'all apologize to each other. I'm sorry, Charles, for doing what I'm doing. Nigga, I was a little boy, fold my arm. Boy, you better apologize. Say you sorry. <laughs> they got to say you sorry, but I got to be hit to buy. I'm not apologizing. That apology. <laughs> I don't accept the apology. You got to be looking up at me, sucking my smacking, making macaroni sound to, for me to say, okay, baby, I'm like, okay, all right, chill. Other than that, I ain't no apology accepting nigga, because I don't apologize. Apologizing, most of the time when I apologize secretly in the back of my heart, I don't mean it. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Oh, uh -uh. Listen, it's like this here. Man, if I get you in the headlock, and you said, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, let me go, I'm sorry, I'm done. Uh-uh. I ain't letting you go. Uh-uh. I said, uh-uh. You don't decide when I let you out to the motherfucking headlock. Uh-uh. <laughs> that squeeze title. <laughs> I'm on foul, man. I don't. This nigga be trolling. Do you hear me? Trolling. Now, listen to you. L listen, auntie. Man, don't mind me, baby. I'm just bull having fun with you. Don't don't take this too personal. Don't Hold on. What? The cold thing about it. The bitch posted my. How did I miss these? My mama, uh, my baby mama, arrest record from twenty years ago. Me, you think I give a f about? This? Nigga, I don't give a f about my mother baby mama. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, nigga. Uh, yeah, nigga. I'm, nigga, my baby mama was a h nigga, and I was a pimp. Nigga, that's how shit go with hoes and pimps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This yeah, thing, man. man, this bitch. Twenty years ago, pictures. <laughs> man, that's a bit of mean ho. Nigga, that's why I want to squabble with that ho. Because I know that bitch ain't got nothing, man. If that bitch over there at Zeus Network and she done finally got a little lime like thinks she's something. Man, I pimped on my baby mama. That bitch, nigga, that was my hoe and my lover. 
don't fuck. <laughs> nah, that's terrible. He fell in love with a hoe. That's just crazy. Oh my god. Um, okay. Now listen, Tia. Listen, Auntie. Man, don't mind me, baby. I'm just bull having fun with you. Don't don't take this too personal. Don't let me stop you from doing your signature move, you know. You know, so you ain't gotta stop doing that. You know how you be doing your teeth, man? That's your signature move. Keep doing that. Don't let me stop you from doing that. But I'm just playing. I don't, you know, I ain't, you know, I, like I told Goldmouth, I like you. I just hate the fact you stay with Ricky every day. I with you. I'm just with you. You ain't got to be getting all personal. Think I just think about this. Because I can't go. <laughs> Where is this going? Fine. Just think about this. You were just fucked up about him child support. They got a tour. They this motherfucker talking, not just Rallo and Fam Goon. Them, it's some big money people. Sean Cotton with Say Cheese TV just got a motherfucking distribution deal. They want to put us on tour together, just like Trump and Biden going around doing presidential debate. Now you ain't getting fifteen, twenty thousand dollars for a booking. I gave you and Zeus a discount, remember? I told y'all $20,000, what did y'all say? We're a new podcast. And I didn't know it was Zeus. I was willing to do the interview with y'all, bitch, until I find out it was Zeus TV. Now tell the truth. Huh? I'm confused. Tell the truth, don't go to, to stop all that goddamn line. I agreed to do it until I find out it was Zeus Network. I don't wanna do nothing with Zeus, nigga. They got black people fighting black people with my exact word. And I felt like they were trying to set me up. So I kept the money. Yeah, I kept the money from Zeus. Oh, damn. This nigga done walked off with Zeus bread. That's crazy. That's crazy. So now, man, tell the truth. So oh, I'm trying to break or get you away from the white folk. Because if we do it over there with Zeus, Zeus go get all the money. You got to split the money with them other three. Bitch, this is your bag by yourself. My bag with, a, with some, come on, let's get the money. I don't need the money, but I don't want to argue with a dumb, broke, black like you for nothing, and we can get something. Come on now. But it is fun, though. I swear it is. <laughs> now listen, Tia. Listen. That's crazy. I don't give a f about that apology, man. That apology. Oh, him apology. I don't know what done happened. Girl, I don't know what done happened. <laughs> God done put seven different toothers on that woman. Hey, what's up, boy? Oh, he after this, he put music on there, girl. I'm done with him. All right, let's get it to Tia, girl. He could come attack this whole so you could go viral. This Be sure to like, emotion, comment, trust. and subscribe. This got the motion, man. Hey, man, you want to make it to the blogs? You want to make it to the media? I don't f***ing know. Come holla at this bitch right here. She got the motion, man. I got these f***ers jumping on the wave. They clout chasing. They scared. She already made the YouTube video. Drop it, please. You know, they money funny. So they got to come piggyback off me. I get it. I get it. I get it. But I don't with police, though. I don't. I don't f with informants and all that kind of sh I'm scared of jail, man. I'm scared of jail. Oh, I'm scared of jail. I'm scared of jail. But I would s that plastic eye at your mother head. Kick that somewhere. No bad. Your ass had to report my post, huh, boy? 
Boy, you better get my son off your mother page, man. I make him pancake your ass, hold your ass down so I can kick that eye at your head, boy. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, uh. nieces and nephews, y'all go flag that boy page for me. Go get that guy. Go shut that boy down for your team. Nah. Nah. Shut it down. Go get that shut down right mother now. Since he reported my post, I need y'all to go over there and put in rainbows all through his We already see he limiting his, his, his comments. Like, they don't come at me, then go you throw your rocks and then you hide. Like, come on, man. I want it, boy. I want this. Oh, I want it, boy. <laughs> Yo. Let's go to one more, girl. This was a mess. Just all yep. together. To know the after hosting son Williams college send off party cause yes boo the hair is life mm -hmm. you need to know Her the hair is me. life sweetheart <laughs> oh you got the link okay. yes oh, shit. oh okay hold on oh, hair God. is life by step y'all better come check her out Oh, this must be his birthday party. I, I you. He looked like Rick Ross. <laughs> I'm drinking, but like it. Charleston White, the way I'm finna line your bullwinkle got ass up dog on YouTube you gonna wish you ain't mentioned my mother name boy listen here I said what the I said and I'm calling a spade a spade just like your ass do let me tell Both you something them cuss too much bro the amount of editing I'm gonna have to do today better get you together on YouTube oh man I've been waiting on this cause you turned down that mother goddamn seat on the podcast <laughs> Boy, why you ain't come see the aunties on the podcast? We had you out there. You backed out. Bitch, I know you ain't talking about your auntie. Hey, man, y'all better go subscribe to my YouTube now. Because when I come back, it's on YouTube. Boy, I'm finna give you the business. You done met your mother. Match. Bullwinkle. <laughs> Bullwinkle is hilarious. Yeah, y'all don't know if this is going to make the cut, but it will be on Patreon. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.